Hello guys, welcome to Android programming tutorial series on Android material designing. This is Annie from Smart Hut. In this video series, we will be learning about the basic building blocks that were introduced with the Android material designing. By basic building blocks, I mean the basic components that were being introduced. The overview of the topics that we are going to cover in this video series are the snack bar. The snack bar is just like the toast bar which gives the lightweight feedback about an operation. It is a brief message that is displayed at the bottom of the screen on the mobile or on the lower left of the large devices. The snack bar can be customized, the color can be changed, the text color can be changed. The snack bar can also be swiped off the screen but that was not the case with the toast. So we can say the snack bar is an advanced version of toast. Next is the floating action button. We will be learning about the floating action button which is a small circular widget type component that we can use to perform some specific actions. The third topic that we are going to cover in this series is the use of coordinator layout. Now coordinator layout will be used to use the snack bar and the floating button at once that is the interaction between the FAB that is the floating action button and the snack bar will be controlled using the coordinator layout. So let's begin with the snack bar in this video. Now guys in this video I will be telling what snack bar exactly is and then we will move to Android Studio and see our basic project setup that we have done in order to start implementing the codes on snack bar. So let me first explain to you what the snack bar is. On the left side of the screen we have the screenshot of the Keep app that is provided by Google. Here we can see there are various nodes that are being made and by selecting a node we can perform various actions on it. Let's say we select a node but by mistake let's say we deleted the node. When this happens what do we do? Once the action is performed we get the snack bar move to the recycle bean and then we have an action button there of undo. This is what is called the snack bar. It appears from the bottom of the screen and gives the feedback of the operation that we just performed. The feedback given is the note has been moved to the recycle bean and then it shows the undo button which says you can undo the delete operation which you just performed. This is what snack bar exactly is. This snack bar automatically disappears after a timeout or when the user taps or performs an operation somewhere else in the screen. Moving further, I'll tell you about the kinds of snack bar that we can use in our Android application. Here on the left side we can see the Gmail application where a mail was selected and reported as spam. A toast message or the snack bar appears at the bottom of the screen which says one reported as spam and there is an action button which says you can undo the action. So what the snack bar exactly is? It is a lightweight feedback like the toast. As I already said it tells about the operation that is being performed. It disappears after a timeout that is until the time for the snack bar is defined it will disappear after a certain interval of time. We can keep the snack bar for an infinite amount of time or for a short interval of time. This property of the snack bar can be set using the function set duration. Next is it can be swiped off the screen. Now we use the coordinator layout with the snack bar which I'll be explaining about in the further videos. So when the coordinator layout is applied to the snack bar or when the snack bar is used with coordinator layout as the parent layout, a property is added to the snack bar that is it can be swiped off the screen. Next is it may contain an action. Here on the left side we can see there is an undo button which will help us to perform an action that is to undo the action of spamming the message. There are also snack bar which does not have this action button. So let's move forward and see 
what are the types of snack bar we can embed in our application so the first kind of the snack bar which we can use is a simple snack bar on the left side there is a youtube application which says the account is offline or there is no internet connectivity we can see on the bottom of the screen there is a snack bar displaying the message no connection we can see there is no action button at the bottom of the screen in the snack bar this is called the simple snack bar where only a message will be displayed on the snack bar next category which we will be learning about of snack bar is the custom color snack bar the custom color snack bar implies that we can customize our snack bar according to our wish we can use the color so as to beautify our application ui and make it more attractive in this example on the left side the background of the snack bar has been changed from custom gray color to a red one we can also change the color of the text message that is displayed in the snack bar we can also change the color of the action button or the action text which we can see on the right side of the snack bar the next category of snack bar is as already discussed the snack bar with option or the snack bar where we can perform certain action it is also called the snack bar with action callback so guys these are the three kind of snack bar which we will be learning in this video series the simple snack bar the custom color snack bar and the snack bar with options now let us move to android studio and see the basic project setup which i have done now guys this is our activity main.xml file where i have used the frame layout as the parent layout and then i have added the toolbar to our application the styles.xml file uses the text color primary as white and the text color secondary as white i have set the color primary the color primary dark and the color accent this colors i have defined in the colors.xml file the color primary color primary dark and the color accent the text color primary is set as white in the menu main.xml i have defined a overflow menu which has three options the three options are for the three types of snack bar that we will be learning about the second is the snack bar with action and the third is the style snack bar in main activity.java i have defined the toolbar here which has the title of basic components and will inflate the menu of menu main.xml i have set the item click listener on the overflow menu items which will initiate the activities and for each options i have declared a method for the simple snack bar the method i have declared is show simple snack bar for snack bar action callback the method defined is show snack bar with action callback and the third option will execute the method show snack bar with colored text now guys after this basic project setup next important thing to do is make change in the build.gradle file here i have included the com.android.support design 23.1.1 in the dependencies include this dependency and sync your project so that the material designing features will be included into our application for the toolbar i have applied the theme toolbar theme and for the pop up theme we have used theme overlay dot app compact dot light now guys if you have any doubt about the toolbar and the theme that is being applied the pop up theme or the toolbar theme refer to the previous video series on the toolbar now let us run our application and see the present status of our app so this is our application with the title basic components there is the overflow menu there are three options that is simple action and styled in the next video we will be defining the codes for each type of the snack bar and we will be learning the detail of the snack bar that's all for this video guys if you like it hit like share 
and do comment below the video. Take care and have a good day.